Before and after videos are so important for a video editor, especially when you're first starting out because it shows your skills to everyone online and it's really a game changer in Instagram. It really demonstrates what a video editor can do for a client and how much value he can bring to their team. I'll show you how to create a before and after clip for your reels, TikTok, or YouTube shorts to get a substantial amount of views and get your name out there. So we will be creating this before and after reel inside Premiere Pro. It's pretty easy all around to create this. So what I like to first off do is get both the clips side by side. You just scale it down, put it to the left and right, make sure they're both at eye level. And the way I know exactly where to put it, I use this safe zone. If you don't know what a safe zone is, it basically tells you exactly where your eye level should be where your chat captions should be and the graphic zone of general where you want to put all your graphics in. If you want it, I'll leave a link into the description where you can get it. Otherwise, put it to eye level, make sure that they're equal to each other and then add a round corners. You can get this in my free version. I'll leave a link into the description so you can just drag and drop it. Otherwise, just use the effect rough and edges and then tweak with the border and edge sharpness and you'll get a look just like this then what i would like to do if you use a black background like mine you don't really have to do a drop shadow but i like to do a drop shadow just to give it a little bit of a pop then all you have to do now is create your text so put after before drag the after first because people are going to look left to right and then put the right, make sure they're kind of aligned with each other. That looks pretty good. And then what I like to do is change the before to a different color and highlight the after part, give it a little bit of a glow. So then it looks better and more people are gonna look at it. Add my glow effect, that looks a lot better. And then just do your call to action, which is going to be comment hook for this, align it, make sure it's looking all nice. And then capitalize the top one, capitalize this one and make it a different color, make it down, make sure it's down and inside that graphic zone and then change the color of the bottom one. So it's just a subheading and put it down just a little bit. So then more people are gonna look at the comment hook and then there you go. It's just simple and easy as that. That's all it is. And if you would like all these presets to make all of your videos more high quality and just a drag and drop process, check the link in bio and use the code first for 30% off. And I'll see you in the next one. Peace.